Welcome to Aldabra, the world's second largest atoll in the outer islands of the Seychelles, 700 miles southwest of Mahé. Visitor numbers here are strictly limited, so it's a real privilege to be here. Nova Caledonia are one of the few cruise companies permitted to operate in this area, and we have three full days to explore from the comfort of our ship, the MS Serenissima. This really is the ultimate in tropical expedition cruising. less than a hundred passengers, Serenissima is a small ship, but with tons of character. Air-conditioned throughout, facilities on board include the Andrea Lounge and Bar, where briefings and lectures are held, and the smaller, more intimate Harold Yarl Lounge. The restaurant accommodates all passengers in one sitting, plus there's the option of outside dining when the weather permits. And of course there are deck areas both for relaxation and observation. Built in 1960, Serenissima doesn't conform to a cookie-cutter ship layout. Each of the 50 or so cabins is different in style and design. Suites on the upper two decks are the largest, whilst deck three and four cabins are significantly smaller. All offer the same facilities of ensuite bathrooms, comfortable twin or double beds, and the usual niceties of a TV, safe, robes and slippers, a hairdryer, and complimentary toiletries. The ever-smiling hotel and catering team take care of your every need. And driving the whole experience, there is the expedition team. On this cruise, the team was made up of naturalists, geographers, marine and conservation biologists. As well as sharing their knowledge with talks on board, they also man the zodiacs, supervise snorkeling platforms, guide walks and zodiac cruises. Expedition team leader Jean-Pierre told me more about how it works. Well, the zodiacs that we use are a key to expedition cruising. They're tough board, they're well balanced, and they take us into places where the other ships cannot go into. What we do is before we land, we send a scouting boat ashore with, with the expedition leader and the team. We scout their conditions, we assess the safety, and then we give feedback to the ship, prepare the passengers what to expect ashore, and then we start our daily operations. And we're here on this idyllic beach with flat, calm conditions, but the weather can make such a difference to the itinerary. Can't it? It's all about flexibility. Flexibility is key in expedition cruising. We do have a set plan, but if weather does not allow us to follow that specific plan, uh, we have well-experienced teams, we, we know the areas, so if there's something we need to cancel, there's always something else we can find, but we always try our best to to do as much as we can, as safe as possible. And there's a lot going on. I mean, it's, it can be exhausting being out in the heat all day long, morning and afternoon excursions. So really, after dinner, there isn't a lot of entertainment laid on, is there? No, there's not. It's about the destination. In the evening, we have dinner. There's some quiet background music in the bar for those who wish to enjoy it. Sometimes we have after-dinner talks, but most of the times, it's just an easy, relaxed evening. Everyone can get into bed and rest up for the next yeah. day of adventure. Our Indian Ocean adventures began in Mauritius, followed by a day exploring neighbouring Réunion, less well known but nonetheless spectacular. A day at sea followed as we headed for northeast Madagascar. As the world's fourth largest island with over 80% endemic species, Madagascar demands way more than a single visit to a port of call. On this trip, we had the luxury of four days to explore. Well, this is our first landing into the rainforest and it couldn't be more spectacular. We've just got a narrow strip of beach and then literally straight into the forest. On all the excursions, there's always a choice of activities, in this case from short walks right through to a longer hike. 
but everybody gets a chance to see the amazing wildlife on these islands. Almost back now, but we just got caught in this immense tropical downpour. Actually, really rather fun. Really warm rain, anyway. And of course, it is the rainforest. By this stage of the cruise, we were all well versed in zodiac etiquette. Rain or shine, prepare to get wet. Sailors grip. Sit where instructed. And enjoy the ride. Well, Madagascar with its lush rainforests and wildlife was absolutely thrilling, but for me, this is a real highlight coming to the Aldabra Island group. And today we're exploring Cosmoledo. Low-lying islands and atolls are the barometers of climate change and environmental impact. And the sad truth is, everywhere you go, you see evidence of plastic washed up on shore. On Aldabra, Cheryl Sanchez from the Seychelles Island Foundation told me more about the efforts being made to try and combat the problem. Seychelles Islands Foundation has seen this plastic pollution problem increase. We've been trying to clean the pollution in-house, but it's too big of a deal. There's too much. Now, last year, we had the Aldabra cleanup project. If you imagine how big of a project this is, is coming in the middle of nowhere in a place where it's difficult to even clean the beaches in the south coast, let alone get the, the trash off, you have to have a lot of funding for this. And Noble Caledonia Charitable Trust was a silver sponsor, which is an incredible um, amount that was donated to this project and really helped to make it happen. And we're incredibly grateful for that. Visiting this remote atoll and having the chance to meet the volunteers working so hard on its conservation was a real privilege. Seeing the issues firsthand had a huge impact on all of us and many passengers felt moved to donate carefully managed tourism can have a positive impact. Expedition cruising is really so very different to what most people imagine cruising to be. And Serenissima, our floating home away from home, is also very different. They simply don't make ships like this anymore. And I think that's why she attracts such a loyal following. Many of the guests on board have cruised with her multiple times. Don't come expecting five-star luxury, but come with a sense of adventure and for the thrill of visiting remote and intriguing destinations. And like them, you won't be disappointed. Thank you. 